I want to start with Charlie Montoyo getting fired. And, and this sort of came out of nowhere Wednesday. Nobody really saw this one coming. It kind of caught me by surprise and apparently a lot of people as well. But Montoyo is gone from a team that many picked to win, to get to the World Series, to, to win the American League. And this was a, a, a sexy pick, if you will, to win the World Series this year. And now Montoyo is gone. So before we get into to my thoughts on that, let's just take a look at what he's done since he got there. You know, one, his, his record since he got there in 2019, 236 and 236 on the dot. So when all is said and done with Montoyo and Toronto, he is a 500 manager there. So since June 16th, okay, of this year, this Blue Jays team that is extremely talented, has a ton of offensive firepower, was expected to do some damage, and many people were predicting them to at least win the American League East. Since June 16th, that talented Blue Jays team has the second worst record in all of baseball at 9 and 17. Only the Washington Nationals have been worse than the Toronto Blue Jays. In that span, the Blue Jays have had the worst record in baseball at 3-10. and 10. They're the only club with a win percentage below 250. And I think a big part of this, and obviously these road losses tallied up here, but there was a massive series in Seattle over the last weekend. Mariners, Blue Jays. This was a big one. What was going to happen? It was the, the team holding down the third place wild card spot and then the Mariners right below them about four games back at the time and they were clashing against each other. The Mariners swept the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays go in to Seattle and just got their doors blown off. It was bad. So they end up getting swept there and then they're in a tie for the final wild card spot. They have the second most blown leads in this stretch with nine. This was bad. It is a bad stretch for the Blue Jays. I thought this Jeff Passan tweet summed it up very well. He said, if the playoffs started today, the Toronto Blue Jays would be in. They're a game and a half out of the top wild card spot in the American League. That wasn't enough to save Montoyo's job. Bad losses and questions in the clubhouse about leadership were a devastating combination. So, yes, those are the facts over the last, you know, since in the last month, they've been really bad. Can't argue with that. They've been blowing games, but still they're in the playoffs if the season ended today. So it's a little bit of a surprise to have Montoyo gone. Here's my thoughts. Montoyo took over in 2019. Okay. 2019, he takes over with a very young team that wasn't expected to win at the time. They went 67 and 95 in his first year there. Montoyo was brought in almost as this guy that is beloved by so many. He was tasked with taking over a very, very young team that wasn't ready to win just yet. And very quickly, this team became a team that was expected to win baseball games. I mean, this team is expected to win right now. So he took over in 2019 when they weren't, and they were awful, 67 and 95 in his first year. But then they quickly became really good. Now here they are. On the cusp of hopefully making the playoffs, they're expected to win in the playoffs this year. This team isn't, okay, now if we get to the playoffs, what a step that would be. No, they should have been in the playoffs last year. They just missed out. They're expected to win in the playoffs this year. So now you have Montoyo out because of that, I believe. So yes, there are questions of leadership in the clubhouse as well. We saw just the other night, there was a play on the field. Vladdy Jr. said something or, or said not to challenge a play on the field, but it ends up getting challenged and Montoya was wrong. Vladdy was right. And then I, I've heard there's a lot going on in the clubhouse as well. Um, Bob Nightingale tweeted this, the Toronto Blue Jays had high expectations this year and Montoya pays the price, becomes third manager fired this year. That's becoming a theme in Major League Baseball. Team's not performing. You're expected to win. Manager's out the door. Whether it be a, a manner, uh, an ownership issue or not, it always ends up falling back on to the manager. The owner's not going to fire himself. So who's he going to fire? The manager. And everybody loved Charlie Montoyo. Everybody loved him. But at the end of the day, this is a win now organization and he wasn't winning now. And, and truly, I don't believe he was expected to be the guy to lead them to their World Series years anyway. 
He wasn't. He was expected to get them through the rebuild. Now here they are. There was a spot in the season where, hey, we've been the second worst team in baseball since June 16th. Well, guess what? This is our time to move on. Thank you for everything that you did along the way, building this roster to what it is now. But now we're ready to win. They bring in their new manager who was uh, already a coach on the team that had coached a lot of these young guys coming up through the minor leagues. So they all really know him. They all like him. He's ready. Now Montoyo's gone. Let's see what the Blue Jays do from here. The two other managers that were fired this year, Joe Girardi, well, the Phillies took off and have been fantastic ever since. Joe Madden, well, we all know the Angels have gone in the opposite direction. So what are the Blue Jays going to do? Time will tell. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.